We have some news for the Suicide Squad movie. Uh, Margot Robbie from The Wolf of Wall Street has been cast to play Harley Quinn. So this character has been debated over a lot. People thought maybe Katie Sackhoff would be great for the role, but maybe she'd be better as Carol Danvers. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, Margot Robbie has been confirmed as Harley Quinn. She looks yeah. like the part to yeah. at, at least, totally. right? She could she could do do herself up. I hope it's not that costume, but right. sure. <laughs> uh, not my favorite costume. Another interesting, uh, well, in talks casting, it's not confirmed, like this one, is Jared Leto as the Joker. So he would be the latest in a series of people to play the Joker. Of course, he would be following up, cinematic-wise, uh, Heath Ledger, who was the, I think he's the only one to win an Oscar for playing a comic book character. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Some so it was a very, very strong role. Yeah, can he fill the role? Jared Leto also has an Oscar. Yeah. And of course, I think his version of the Joker would be a little bit different. Hmm. One of the things that I've learned over the years is to, like, if you get an actor that is cast as something, don't judge them based off of past performances. See what they do with the character mm -hmm. before you make a snap judgment. Like, I can't see Jared Leto as a Joker. I think I can, though. Yeah, I think so, too. And he has beautiful hair, so. Well, it will be green, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think you can't really, it's, it's really hard, and I've seen, you see it happen all the time when they cast someone in a role. You can't really, really tell until you see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Ben Affleck will probably surprise everybody, yeah. even though there was so much unhappiness with that casting as Batman. Do you so. think a lot of it is based on physical appearance when we're making those judgments beforehand? Yeah, well, you don't have that. And you also, like you were saying, you're judging from previous performances. And, and you know, Ben Affleck has never done anything like that sub Daredevil, which didn't go over very well. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, I mean, they look great, these actors. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so I, I'm pretty excited. These characters are great characters. I think it'd be really hard to follow up on Heath Ledger's performance. Who yeah. do you think, well I could ask who was the best Harley Quinn, but there have only been two people to really voice her before. And this is the first time she's been in a movie, yes. like in a live action. So or... we've only seen Arlene Sorkin and Tara Strong voice, we didn't even see them. Right. So she will be the first Harley. Who do you think though was the best Joker? Now of course there's many, many people filling that role. We have Jack Nicholson, we have Heath Ledger of course, Cesar Romero, and what about the voice cast? That's we have Mark funny. Hamill, yeah. very strong uh, character. Actor uh, Kevin Michael Richardson voiced him in the Batman. John DiMaggio, mm -hmm. better better known as Bender, Bender. and Jake, <laughs> voiced a very chilling version of him in Under the Red Hood. Mm -hmm. Also strong performance Michael Emerson in The Dark Knight Returns, though that was more of a psychotic Joker than a well a murder Joker than a you know making a plans Joker. I'm sorry, this is not the. <laughs> um, and then of course Troy Baker voiced him more recently in the Arkham games mm -hmm. and Assault on Arkham. Yeah, I, I, Dark Knight is still my favorite. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because it was just—I mean, he, he portrayed such a deceiving, evil man, and mm. just I, my favorite thing is actually probably more the the way the character was written than performed. But it really—I mean, the performer had to bring that into mm -hmm. his performance. Um, was the idea that he would lie about his childhood and these right. things, and you'd start to feel bad for him, and then you'd find out he's not telling the truth. It just—it was a really great play on that character, which I enjoyed. I think the Joker in the comics lot. did that a lot too. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you, we're not really sure of what his origin is, and we don't really know what his name is. Like it's—I I like that yeah. that that dark, deceptive. Yeah, quality. and the, well, and, and the you know the original like the Tim Burton version was very um, he cut like and a dry. Buffoon. Well, it, was, it was very clear that he was a bad guy, and I, I prefer the bad guys that you can kind of sympathize with. Sure, yeah. At a certain I'm level. I'm sorry, I just clutched my pearls over here. <laughs> 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 because, to count, like, I loved Heath Ledger's performance. I think he did a fantastic job with the character, but my favorites would have to be Mark Hamill, because mm -hmm. that's who I hear when I hear the Joker in yes. my head. That's who I grew up with. And then Jack Nicholson, because I am attracted to, I, I don't go to comic book movies for the realism, the gritty, reboots or whatever. Mm -hmm. I go for the colors and the crazy characters and I think that Jack Nicholson just really nailed it because I was a kid when I saw it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the Joker that stays in my head. So those two, Mark Hamill uh, sure. as the voice and then Jack Nicholson as the I live action. I definitely see that. That's interesting. Mark Hamill's my choice. Yeah. Um, just because, well, I've I, I've watched almost everything in the DC animated universe, and I got, and he in the first Arkham game, oh my mm -hmm. god, and DC mm -hmm. Universe Online, he just 
added this chill to it. Though Troy Baker has done a great job and he was uh, filling so his shoes. coming into it, and he's done a great job. If you listen to him do the, I think there's a monologue from The Killing Joke. Yep, the, oh my word, it is so good. And he did so it at Comic-Con or something like that? Comic-Con maybe a couple years yeah. ago, or the, last year. And it's very chilling. But these are all very different depictions of the Joker. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I mentioned earlier Michael Emerson in The Dark Knight Returns was more like he'll shoot you in the face more so than um, devise this crazy plan with Joker gas and what have you. Uh, right. So what do you think Jared Leto would, would lend to the role? Uh, it, it's a dangerous slope because if he goes too much like Heath Ledger, people will call him that. If he goes too much like the classic comic books, people will call him out on that. And so it's going to be a fine line that he's going to have to straddle and find it for himself. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have to do something completely new. Yeah. He's going to have to come up with his own take on it because otherwise, otherwise he's Jack Nicholson or he's Heath Ledger. You know, it's, the same, it's like you say, it's gonna, there's going to be that comparison. People are going to say you missed the mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless he does, does something completely new. Right. So and I'm, I'm very excited to see all of that. I would like to see that. that. Yeah. yeah. I like being surprised by these new Jokers. And then, you know, even Mark Hamill was a surprise, right. his version, and it became so iconic. So yeah. I think there's so much promise in here. And we know Jared Leto is a good actor, yeah. so. Whoa. So I'm excited <laughs> for Suicide Squad, uh, just on premise alone. I don't think Joker is in the Suicide Squad. He's no, probably no. just, like, there for a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting that they revealed that Harley Quinn was going to be in it. She's um, probably one of the most popular characters. Well, definitely. I mean, now we we're have... finally going to get Harley Quinn cosplayers at conventions. It's been so long, oh, and you we just don't, never see we them. We don't have enough of them, really. Yeah, finally. I mean, and and if only stick to one interpretation. Yeah, right? <laughs> if only we could get more Harley Quinn and Deadpool at conventions, I think we could really make the world a better place. For those of you that don't go to conventions, there are a lot of Harley Quinn at conventions. <laughs> oh, my God. And they're all amazing. I, that's yeah. why I think it's funny, because the... The cosplay of that character is actually what's got me really excited about the character in the show or yeah. the movie because there's so many takes on it and they're all fantastic. It's just such a visually well, this is an exciting stunning movie and fun alone, character. Sure. Because we have, you know, not everyone is familiar, I guess, well, we're familiar, but a lot of people aren't aware of the, the premise, which is like, uh, okay, Amanda Waller, huge asshole. Uh, <laughs> she is in charge of this organization to give uh, these felons, these criminals, these villains amnesty uh, by means of sending them on suicide missions. Suicide Squad. Hey. So we have all the villains working together to achieve good. Good. Mm -hmm. It could be very interesting. It could be their analogy to Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey. I'm excited for him. Uh, not him. Her. Harley. Uh, we also might see uh, Deathstroke. Deathstroke, Deadshot, I, Black Manta. I'm excited for Black Manta. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Aquaman, and if Black Manta shows up in a, in a large role like this, maybe it's going to lead to more Aquaman stuff? Well, I'm sure you're excited for the Jason Momoa Aquaman. Yes. For sure. <laughs> it's Carl Drogo as Aquaman, so. Uh, awesome. So we, we the, also being rumored are Tom Hardy and Will Smith. I don't know where they would go. There are still rumors at this point as well. What do you think of the casting of Harley Quinn, and who is your choice for best Joker? Where, where will Jared Leto end up in that pantheon of Jokers? Let us know what you think below in the comments. Comments? Comments. And please be sure to subscribe. I almost said comics.